Hi guys, went into Poundland today. Uh, somebody had told me they'd got some solar powered uh, projector light things for Halloween. Um, just like your normal solar lights charge up during the day and glow at night. But apparently they were set up so they'd actually project um, a skull or a um, pumpkin face or something onto a wall. I couldn't find them. Um, but different Poundland stores carry different stock. So I will try some other Poundland stores and have another look. Anyway, I didn't want to come away empty handed, so I bought these. A pair of um, skeleton arms. And I thought I would make them into a rubber band powered car. Of course. So plan is I could either just drill holes in them or I might 3D print something. I was thinking something along the lines of um, like handcuffs or something to go in across them to hold them apart. And uh, the usual CDs for wheels. Good morning guys, another rubber band powered car. Hmm. There we go. I rather fancied making a trike. Don't do that very often because it's a real pain trying to organize the front end where your rubber band's going to go. I don't think there's any chance of this actually going in a straight line. It's a bit too flexible. But I think you can see the general idea. The back axle, I've got it clipped onto the back of the arm. And the front axle clips onto the fingers or slides onto the fingers to be more exact. I actually had to adjust them a little bit because I hadn't allowed enough space to get over the bumpy bits. And then that is just held together by the axle going through the middle. And the wheel actually spins on the axle freely. And I haven't left myself much room there to actually wrap the rubber band round but it should work just a bit of Halloween fun so we'll give it a run in the kitchen I don't think there's slightest chance of me actually hitting the camera getting a straight enough run to do that but that is what we'll do we'll put the camera down at this end of the kitchen I'll go up the other end and aim for the camera. I reduced the power that time so it doesn't twist it quite so much and we got a nearly straight run. Well, 
that's going to have to do. That's as close as I'm going to get. Every time it hits the wall, it distorts because all these bits are loose. So I can adjust them. So if I spent long enough, I would be able to get it running straight and then possibly glue the bits in place so they don't move. But it works. A bit of fun. Poundland. Um, Halloween. Skeleton. Food tongs. The idea is you use them for picking up your food. Job done.